When I was young, I thought UFOs are probably real, but a lot of these stories are bullshit. So if it's something that we want to believe because of science fiction, right. Orson Welles and all that stuff. But now I don't think that anymore because one of the things that he's criticized about, he said he went to MIT, and but they said there's no record of him at MIT. Yeah. He's like, yeah, because there wasn't a record of me at MIT because I was involved in, in a program yeah, yeah, yeah. that you can't really say. <laughs> yeah. But when you hear what they were actually working on, you go, you're not even supposed to do that. So I would imagine that it's not important that you get a degree. The other things they try to disprove him on, he has shown that it was accurate. One of them that he worked at Los Alamos lab. So they said that he never worked there, right. but he did work there. He's on the employee roster. Yeah. So not only that, he had a, an intimate knowledge of the building. Right. When George Knapp went with him to Los Alamos labs, he knew where everything was. He knew the security guards. He knew the system. George Knapp is an investigative reporter that broke the story Got it. in 1989. Got it. And he's been on it ever since. Yeah. And Lazar talked to him because he thought they were going to kill him.